Hello guys, it's Cameron here from Quickshot Films, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how I did my Minecraft mobs in real life. Starting by showing you how to animate them, then I'll put them into Surfer Movie Plus, and show you how I put them into my scene. So first you want to go and get this program, Animator, link on screen now and in the description where you can download that and install that. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and install that and yeah, load it up and you should be greeted with this. Click away from this, it's just the opening screen thing. And then you'll be greeted with this layout, it's got new, load, save, save as, export a screenshot, export as video there. Uh, export as, uh, import animation and uh, play, looping, uh, tempo, so just choosing the speed that your video plays at. Uh, camera uh, view position thing, uh, undo, redo settings, the website, and their forms. Uh, over here is all the object settings, and down here is the timeline where you animate it all. So, start by adding in a new character, or item, or block, or scenery block. Scenery blocks like chests and levers and things. Scenery, which is a Minecraft scenery exported from MC Edit and light. Uh, I'm just skimming over these, sorry, but uh, you can play around with this yourself or look up some uh, tutorials on the internet for how to do a specific thing. I'll just show you how I did my video mostly. So uh, I'll import a character. Here is thy character. Uh, you can change the animal and stuff that this character is by um, going down to here and selecting what model you want, like you can have skeleton and all that stuff. Uh, slime and stuff, but if we stay with human, you also find that we can change the skins. I'll just find my skin real quick. <sighs> there we go, there's my skin, and it imports it quite well. Uh, yeah, so once you've got that imported, you'll want to animate it, won't you? So to animate it, uh, first I'll show you how you can actually view around the view like I was just doing. Um, so most of the controls are all written up here, but I'll tell you anyway. So uh, if you right click, you can scroll around like this. Uh, if you scroll in, you can zoom in and out. If you right click W and press W or S, you can zoom in and out. If you right click and press D and A, you can go side to side. D or A. If you right click and press E and Q or Q, you can go up and down. And those are the controls I use, and yeah, just basic controls for getting around the, getting around everywhere. So, um, so once you get your character in, you will want to start animating it. You, by to animate it, all you need to do is click down on the timeline, create a keyframe. Um, and up here is where you select which body part you want to rotate and position by just clicking on what part you want to do. So uh, by clicking on the head and clicking position, rotation, and uh, position, rotation, I can move this around and position it how I want it. Um, by clicking on the arm and clicking adding bending, you can bend the arm. You can also do this thing as well. Uh, yep, and by clicking on the leg, you can also bend it, um, move it. Click on the other leg, you can pull it back, bend it, and there we go. I've got a running stride. <laughs> it's perfect. Um, yeah, you can, um, you can also add like weapons and stuff into your hands and parent it to different parts of your body and stuff but I won't be going over that. To do that basically you just uh, get out of the keyframe options and add an item or something and then, then go down to instances and then you can like parent it. You can like parent it to the part that you want to parent it to but um, I won't be doing that right now so I'll just Go back and delete that somehow. Yeah, yeah. Add one. There we go. Okay. Uh, so I've got my character, Hades, and his stance. Uh, to make this animated, just add another keyframe in here. Move it out a bit so it's a bit slower. 
and by doing this you have created it so if I move this leg I've created it it is added in all in between frames and uh, yeah, you can go ahead click on this keyframe click on the body part and whatever body part you want to and by doing this you can create the running motion or any other animation that you want to so I've got that I'll just quickly go ahead and create a little running thingy and I'll be right back So there we go, that's my little running animation, it's a little bit glitchy but uh, that's the basic thingy. Uh, now I'll show you how to put this into the scene. Um, as you can see, there's a ground, if you ha export with the ground it won't be right in your scene so you want to get rid of the ground. To do this just export, exit the keyframe options for your character, Go scroll down into background, scroll down more, uh, go Unticks show sky, that will get rid of the flat sky, uh, the gradient in sky. Wait, no, you have got custom background. Uh, and then untick show ground, that will just be your character. Uh, blue doesn't key, uh, key out very well with these characters and stuff, so uh, you can change the sky colour by clicking on that. What? <laughs> okay, so my problem was I was um, playing the video, got to stop playing the video to be able to change the colour. So uh, click into sky colour again and change it to red or any other colour that you think will key out well in the program. And now I have my character on a keyable surface. And yeah. So let's go ahead and export this. To export it, all you need to do is click on this button up here. I'll we'll say, do you want to save animation first? I'll just click that. I'll pop up this, choose we want to save it. Me. Landing. I'll save that. Do not, uh, do not pick any options. Uncompressed. Yep. Uh, click down arrow and choose your encoder. So, I've got Microsoft Video One. You won't have all the same ones as me, but Microsoft Video One you should all have. Uh, put the compression quality to zero. I don't, I don't know which one's better, but zero is <laughs> better, I guess. Uh, you can turn the temporal quality up and uh, start the export. It'll tell you not to minimise uh, my animator while this is happening, this is just so that it can export, see the video and export it. Click OK. Now it will run through the animation and export it. Uh, do you want to open it? Yes. Now you can see the animation. So I'll close that and now we'll go into Surfing Review Plus and import this into our video. Be back in a second. Okay, so here we are in Surfer Room Plus. I'll just import the video quickly. Red. This one. Okay, so that's me running. I'll import that into my video track. And there we go. There is me running. I'll put that up into the top one because we've got to put something underneath it. And that will be our video. So I'll quickly go and get a video. Live animation or what? I guess. Put that behind there, and there we go, we've got the video behind it, but now we need to key out the red, so to do that, click on the overlay track, add effect, uh, chroma key, and just use this colour picker to pick the red. Pull up these settings a bit to make sure everything's gone, and there we go, we have our character running. So um, to make this guy like actually run across the ground, you can like click on the character, transform it, show the keyframes, zoom into this, the timeline. Uh, so we've got the keyframes here, we can animate the guy in Surfing Plus. So if we go back to the first one, we can pull this guy down to here or something. Running to somewhere else in the screen. Put this back a bit. Not that far. 
pull them down to like there. And you can run across. So play that. And we've got a guy running onto the scene. Looking like he's getting squashed by a slime. Wow, great timing. Slime. Should make it so it actually looks like a thing. Da 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 da! Up. Oh. And he's squashed. Okay, so that's how I do, how how you, how I did my uh, Minecraft real life video. Um, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a comment ring and all that other stuff. And yeah, uh, make sure to leave a comment saying what you would like me to do next as a tutorial. And I'll see you guys later. I'll leave you with a video of me getting squashed by slime. Bye guys. <laughs>